Come on now. Come on now, let's go. Yeah, life goes on. Come on now, John Mellicant. What's up, everybody? Oh, yeah. You know, you get those songs. You get those songs that just hit you in the heart. You hear a song and it brings back memories. How's it going, everybody? Sean Donahue here. The family coach, welcome to another episode of Live Drive! <laughs> Live Drive! Fun fact, I was actually, I won an award my senior year of high school. Just thought of that before we dive into our topic for today. Let's talk about 1997. I did win an award for my senior standouts. It was definitely not most likely to succeed. I won most likely to host a talk show. And now here we are. I'm driving on another Tuesday live drive and I've put on my radio voice talking about parenting and modern adult life. Most likely to host a talk show. And now I've got a little small following on Instagram and people watching me live talking about life and the trials and tribulations of being a grown up in 2020. Trying to figure out parenting and marriage and married life and money and stress and Corona beers, coronavirus. Whatever else the media is telling us to talk about and thinking about that at that moment. Let's talk about leadership today. I want to tell you two stories about leadership to get you thinking about your role in your family's life. 936. 936. There's only 936 weekends in a child's life between when they were born and when they turn 18. Now really this isn't about the kids, this is about us as parents and about us as leaders. You know, we barely ever talk about what it means to be a leader in your own home. I mean, sure, if you wanna go on Instagram, you can sure find a lot of information about leadership and about you know, pushing yourself to the max and a lot of memes and a lot of catchy phrases. Easy to double click that like, but really 936, a thought I have for you is, sure that might sound like an, a big number, but that is a tiny number, especially when you're talking about the tweens and the teens, the salty, the salty times. 936, what do you do on your weekends? You know, as a leader of your, home as your family you set the pace you set the tone and so what you do on those 936 days really matters how you spend your time how you lead your family what you do with your calendar what you sign your kids up for and what you don't sign your kids up for really all reflects upon your leadership vibe or your lack of of leadership now there's a lot of great ways to lead a great family I just hope that you think about this Saturday coming up and this Sunday and you see how precious and temporary parenting is we're gonna wake up one day we're gonna have a lot more grays and wrinkles than we currently do I just hope that we remember that uh, we will be one of those parents saying it time flies. It goes by so fast. You know that's going to be us. And so let's maximize the most of these 936 weekends we have, especially for us working parents. I mean, that is very important. Let's talk about leadership. My family had a very, very important experience happen last night. And I really feel like... Uh, if you think about moments in time that you remember, if you think about days that you actually remember, 
the reality is that there's very few, very few days in these 85 years that, of life that most of us are gonna live, so few moments we actually will cherish and remember. I think we had one last night in my family. My, uh, my teen daughter is trying to transfer to a new school and has put in the application and done some processes and things like that. And I don't need to get into, nor will I get into the details of that for the sake of her privacy. So much is what's difficult about having a parent on Instagram, and our freaking kids have too, is we try to honor their privacy. That's very important for us, that we honor their boundaries. and. And yet this is really a story about our family and about me and I want to tell it because it's very meaningful. And so this letter arrived and it was a small little envelope in the mail. And it made me think about, you know, when I was younger and I applied to colleges and when you get those letters in the mail, think about those times in your life. These are really amazing moments. When you mail something in or you apply online and they come back to you with a letter or with an answer and you realize in that moment like your life is at a fork in the road like this letter is going to determine your future super scary super emotional but it's moments like this that are are memorable that also shape our character and also define our leadership as parents and so i i made a very conscious choice that I, I felt good about. I asked my daughter, hey, can I be with you when you open your letter? Because the letter was gonna say whether she got into this school or not. She's 14 years old. And she said, I don't wanna talk about the letter. It's like, okay, okay, well, when are you gonna open it? She's like, I don't know. I was like, well, I'm really excited. She's like, I know, I'm just really nervous. And she was very nervous and very emotional. Spent some alone time just like processing. She was realizing the gravity of this letter. And I could have just dropped it because I had already asked her once. But I just proceeded to come up to her in this like seven hour period between, you know, when I got home and I saw the letter was there, and when she did open the letter at 9.30 p.m., I proceeded to bring it up probably seven times to her. Now, was I nagging her? Was I bothering her? Possibly, you know, it was almost like a little intense. Like, okay, Dad, and I was trying to do it in like a jovial, chill vibe, you know. But I really wanted to send a message to her, like, honey, like, I want to go through this experience with you. Like, this is an important moment in our family's life. So I'm trying to let her know, like, this isn't just about you. Nothing in your life is just about you. Like, you are my daughter. I love you more than life itself. You were one of the most important people in my life. And I wanted to use this opportunity as a letter to really tell her that. To tell her like her life matters to me. Because this letter is either going to end in tears or tear of happiness or tears of sadness. And so I did honor her space. I did bring it up. I drove her to dance and back and I brought it up real gently. <laughs> without trying to cross the line with bugger or nagger. And, but the message was clear, you open it when you're ready, but I just wanna be here for you. I wanna walk through it. And so she did open the letter and we did not get news we'd like to hear. She got on the waiting list for this school that we're trying to get her into. And it was emotional for all of us. And then to hold my 14 year old daughter and my wife in my arms as we kind of all went through this together and cried together. It was one of those moments in life that I'll never forget. We are the most influential people in our children's life, mom and dad. We are powerful. Our words are powerful. Our hugs are powerful. Our nagging requests, our tears are powerful. And there is only a few days in this season called parenting. And there is only 936 weekends. So soak it up, my friends. 
enjoy, try to enjoy every minute. Look for those moments. Stay strong, everyone. Be close and teach wisdom. Much love to you all. See you in the next live drive.